hope you enjoyed the Sorting Seasons lab. Let's take a look at some of the concepts that were covered. You now know that every year has four distinct seasons that vary in temperature, precipitation, and amount of daylight. Let's take a look at each season a little more. Before we talk about seasons, you need to know why seasons occur. When the northern hemisphere is experiencing winter, the southern hemisphere is experiencing summer. This is due to the Earth's tilt, which is the cause of the seasons. That being said, let's continue on to learning more about the seasons. Winter begins in the winter solstice in December and continues into March. Usually the solstice falls on either December 21st or December 22nd, and usually winter ends at the spring equinox on March 20th. Winter brings really cold weather, snow, and shorter amounts of daylight. All of these things happen because the hemisphere that is experiencing winter is receiving less direct sunlight than it gets during the spring, summer, or fall. Spring follows winter and typically runs from the end of March into the end of June. Spring is associated with rebirth and blooming. All the trees start to grow their leaves back and flowers start to bloom in the spring. Also, farmers plant their crops in the spring because the soil becomes so rich and healthy. The temperature begins to rise from the harsh low temperatures of the winter. The days start to get longer in the spring and on average, a spring day will get about 12 hours of daylight. Another thing that increases in the spring is the amount of rain. Since the spring is a transition between winter and summer, the weather can sometimes be really extreme with varying temperatures, thunderstorms, and even tornadoes. After spring comes summer. Summer is best known for one thing, really high temperatures. Rain levels are usually very low during the summer but can vary depending on location. For instance, in Florida, summer is marked by a lot of rain and thunderstorms, as well as really high temperatures. During this season, the amount of sunlight that hits the earth is at its greatest. The last season of the year is fall. Fall, also known as autumn, is the transition from summer to winter. The amount of sunlight decreases in the fall and temperatures begin to drop down from the intense heat of the summer. The real noticeable change is when the leaves on the trees change from green to various shades of yellow, red, and orange. Fall is also known as the harvest season or the time of the year to pick the crops that were grown in from the spring. Lots of fruits and vegetables begin to ripen in the fall. This colorful season runs from September to late December. Thanks for watching. When you go outside, think about what season we are in and try to identify some of the characteristics of that season.